Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have had a Sassy Girl Aroma haul sitting around for what feels like ages and so it's a little bit disorganized but I'm gonna try to keep it sweet and simple. Um, I've been working on another project so I'm kind of backed up. <laughs> I know that that sounds horrible but backed up on boxes that I have to haul and just some other videos that I really want to do that are, have just been sitting in the back of my mind. So I've never actually ordered from Sassy Girl Aroma. And there's a few reasons why. One of the reasons being is that the, her most popular items, like with the blends and stuff, seem to be the chunk bags. Like, those seem to be like the items that you get if you really want. I'm gonna need to find my glasses because I don't have my contacts in and I'm not gonna be able to read crap if I don't get some eyewear on. Okay. <laughs> I, so yeah, so the, the issue with the bags are is that I never melt that much wax from a bag. Like I don't like big quantities. So probably what I'm going to do is I'll probably take, <clears throat> sorry, I'll probably take a chunk from each bag and make like samplers. And I also ordered one extra one too, because she had switched websites and somehow I ended up with two bags of the same scent in my cart. And I, I'm pretty sure that I did not add two. I don't, I don't really know what happened there, but Anyways, let's just get into it. I made, okay, and here's another thing. I'm just going to confess this right now. I made four different, no, four, three or four different orders. I can't remember. The deal was I didn't need to do that. That was stupid. Uh, she had stuff for a long time on her site. She switched over to a new site, and she, I think this is, like, I don't know. Oh, she changed her bags. That's what's different. I think the card is the same. So here's the card for Sassy Girl Aroma. And yeah, so the reason I've never ordered before was just because every time I'd look at her site, I'd see these big chunk bags. I hardly ever want chunk bags from any vendor. Even if it's like my most favorite scent, I, well, there are some scents that are exceptions, but these are all new to me. So I didn't know if I was going to like them or not. So what I said I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to take some chunks out and, and individually bag them and make samplers. So here's the first one that I got. I'll do samples as I find them. I got, so this is her new logo, and this is kind of what her website looks like. Her website was super easy to use. I didn't have any problems. I was in a hurry, though, because there were a few that I really wanted, and I was afraid that they were going to sell out. But she had stuff on there like a day later. I think one of these orders I actually made a day later. So the first one I got and I've heard a lot about is Beach Night Type. And that is uh, summer marshmallows, a warm blend of toasted marshmallows, sea salt breeze, and s'mores. And the sea salt breeze is kind of like what sucked me in. Plus I love the scent of like s'mores and her marshmallow. I really like her marshmallow. I've gotten a few marshmallow blends from people and it just smells really good. So this is what her chunks look like. And uh, that one is just, there's something about her marshmallow that is just so freaking good. Ah, uh, and I'm trying to figure out, yeah, you get a little bit of that salty sea air and then it's backed up by that sweet s'more scent. It's just, it's really good. I can't quite describe that one, but that one is really nice. I like that one a lot. This next one I got, which I, if you know me, you'll be like, what? Um, orange Whip, Whip, Orange Whip, Orange Whip, Satsuma, Blueberry, Lemon Lime, Fizzy Pop. Now, I love Fizzy Pop, so that's what threw me over the top. But I've also been liking Satsuma blends as well, so that's kind of new for me. And let's pull out one of these bad boys. These look really pretty, actually. They're like this. Whoa, that is so strong. I can smell it pulling it out of the bag. <clears throat> Fortunately... The fizzy pop is pretty strong, but it's kind of, it is, uh, it's embraced by that orange whip and satsuma. I don't smell blueberry too hard. Yeah, because I'm not like the biggest blueberry fan, but fizzy pop, I'm all about. So fizzy pop, I will take you. <laughs> The next one I got, which sounded, if you guys know me, you guys know I love like my sea minerals, my sea type scents. So this is Ocean Breeze and Apple Peel with cool notes of Blue Lotus and Eucalyptus and refreshing touches of sea botanicals and sandalwood, mandarin orange, Ocean Breeze, Apple Peel, Geranium, and Salty Sea Air. Crap, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> 
this one, if I remember correctly, is really like a sharp blend. You know, it's got that sharpness to it that I always like talk about. Oh, I think I smell the sandalwood in there. I think, I think my nose is starting to pick up sandalwood. And I think I smell eucalyptus too. Yeah, that's what it is. That's where that sharpness comes from. I was curious. That one's really interesting. I like this one. It's different than other things that I've smelled. So that's what, I feel like I did a good range too as well when I made my order. All right, so the next one is, oh, this is the one I ordered two of. I don't, I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna set that to the side because. Okay, the next one I got is Coconut Cream Salty Sea Air Sweet Lavender. I've been loving the Salty Sea Air Sweet Lavender blend, so I thought I'd try the Coconut Cream. And she really like busted these out because she made a move as well. I believe she moved shops and to a new website and busted all these. I mean, she had a lot on her site, so. That's what that looks like. And I, you know, coconut cream is one of those things that is kind of iffy for me. But in here, I like it. Oh yeah, that's good. I wouldn't say the Salty Sierra is like what stands out to me whatsoever. Do you guys want the candle on the view? I don't know. Should I keep my pretty background going? <laughs> I don't know. I, I When I was doing all of my, um, the project that kind of kept me busy for a couple weeks and away from making videos, I was like thinking about my background. I was like, I should, you know, really like jazz it up a little bit. Okay, so the next one is Rainbow Sherbet Creamsicle Vanilla Smoothie. And I'm blaming part of this order on Candy. Um, Candy, you know who you are if you're watching. She had sent me her order and I saw some things and I was like, well, how did I miss that? Where where, did, where was that? Uh, yeah, this one's really nice as well. I like the colors on the chunks. Mm, that's just a nice, like, that really does smell like rainbow sherbet. Yeah, it really does. I don't know that I'm getting like vanilla smoothie or I think I'm getting a little bit of orange creamsicle, but definitely summery for sure. Okay. Box. All right, this is another one. I think Candy actually sent me a little sample of this when she made a sampler for me. Thank you so much, Candy. I still am like going through that sampler and I love it. Uh, Rosemary's Love Potion, which is lavender, rosemary, mint, and cream. And I love rosemary mint, so I was like, oh gosh, this is pretty too. Wow, so pretty. This one, I can smell the lavender already. Oh, but you get that rosemary mint too. That one's... Oh, that, you know, I need to warm that tonight. I'm going to try a little chunk of this tonight, I think, and just see how it performs. I might ha actually have a sample that's probably cured, but mm, you get a, a mix of the lavender and the rosemary mint. It's like your nose gets a whiff of the lavender, and then you get that rose. It's backed up by that rosemary mint. Mmm, good. So yeah, so I kind of went a little nuts just because I was like, this is my first time ordering, you know, sorry, I'm wiping, I, I'm rubbing my hands trying to get the wax off. I was just like, I had planned on already, I was like, you know what, if I buy the bags, I'll probably end up making sampler, like a few samplers to de-stash because I just don't like big quantities of wax like this. So, but I really like the samplings that she does in the bags. So Zen is citrus lemon, fresh fig, persimmon, Persimmon, pers persimmon, fruity wood, and sweet powdery tonka. This one just intrigued me. I love fig scents. Something about fig, brown sugar fig, um, brown sugary fig, anything like that. This one is very earthy. And I think I asked her, I was asking her admin, or I asked on the page, and her admin said that it was kind of like a patchouli type scent. It didn't have patchouli in it but it, it kind of reminded her of like a patchouli type scent and I totally agree with her and get what she was saying because it does have kind of that like earthy type note to it, but I really like it. It's, I can see melting this like in the man cave or yeah, uh, you know, I don't know. 
I think I smell the wood. And I do kind of get like a like the powdery tonka, which is odd. I, this one is going to be very interesting on warm. I'm curious to see that. This one will probably go back in the bedroom. I don't know. And then I'm sort of like, I don't, I don't know if I want to put a sampler together. But there's a lot of chunks in here, so I don't know. This one I was a little concerned about because when you mix avo bath, avo bath. <laughs> avo bath with anything it's like it takes over the whole scent so it's violet sugar petals and sweet lavender you guys know i love violet mixed with sugary things or like bakery so i was all over this one and i'm just gonna you know what this chunk is stuck together so we're just gonna pull it out and show the colors again Whew, and this one is strong, strong lemongrass. I mean, this smells like the Lush bath bomb. I feel like if you sniff it really hard, you can kind of smell the violet sugar. Barely. It might come out a little bit more on warm. I don't know. It might just be straight, straight avo bath, but that's usually what happens with avo bath. It's, it's, hard to, it's hard to mix that one, I think. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is one that Candy got that piqued my interest and made me order again. Red Delicious, Sweet Lavender, Salty Sea Air, and Buttercream Frosting. I'm like, how the hell did I miss that blend? So, let's smell this one. This one is super fun with the colors. Love the colors of that one. Okay, so this one is pretty strong on the Red Delicious Apple. I can't smell the Salty Sea Air. And I'm guessing the buttercream frosting is just toning that all down because I don't really smell that. But I always think about like how much stronger this would be if there was no buttercream frosting. Like it would just intensify the apples and the salty sea air and the lavender much more. But when you put buttercream frosting, it like tones it down, you know. That one's pretty, I, you know, I need to warm all of these like ASAP. <laughs> I don't know what the cure time is supposed to be on these, but... Um... I've had them for a while. I don't even know when, I can't even remember when the restock was. I feel like it was at the beginning of this month. Uh, Field of Dream. So here's another one that has fig in it. So this is Mediterranean fig, Tahitian passion fruit, and sweet cotton. And cotton got me. I love like clean cotton scents. And the Mediterranean fig, like that pulled me in. I love to try fig scents. I don't know what it is. And again, geez, I mean, she just does like the prettiest color combinations. Okay, this one's very fruity. Wow, this one's interesting. It's fruity but clean. Oh, I can smell that cotton. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. I think I'm smelling like a fig, but it's different than any other fig I've ever had. I don't know. I said I was going to make samplers, and now I don't know. Like, I don't know if I want to... <laughs> I don't know if I can get rid of any of these. Uh, then we have lemonade, orange sherbet, whipped cream. I've been obsessed with lemonade. Anything right now, I love lemonade scents. And so this is what it looks like. So this one, okay. I do smell the lemonade, but it's not quite as tart of a lemonade as I like. Because the orange sherbet is kind of taking it down a notch. And I think I'm smelling the whipped cream a little bit stronger too. This is good if you don't like a super tart lemonade. If you like it mixed with other things. I like my lemonade pretty tart. And those other two scents just kind of be like in the background a bit. But they're what they're really doing is just toning down that lemonade. And kind of like showing themselves a little bit more. So I'm getting like orange sherbet and whipped cream. So... That one we'll have to see about, but I do like, I mean, I like lemonade, so I don't think I'll hate it. Okay, and then I have Strawberry Vanilla, vanilla Cotton, which I'm blaming on Candy as well. Thank you, Candy. <laughs> I'm saying it sarcastically behind the camera. Strawberry Vanilla Cotton. I was like, how did I miss that one? I, like, love cotton. If you mix co cotton with anything, I'll probably try it. Oh, this is nice. This is really pretty. I mean, I am totally impressed with some of these blends. Ah, oh, that smells good. 
I don't know how much the cotton is coming out. Like I feel like I smell something happening in there. But the strawberry is just so pretty. It's not a fake strawberry whatsoever. It's just like, ah, oh, it's good stuff. Okay. And then, oh yes, I, so I'll try to, I got samples and I don't know if anybody cares, but I think this is my entire order. I hope so. Jeez, I have. Uh, one thing I did, like one of the reasons I made my first order like fairly fast is because I wanted this one really bad. It was a loaf. Now I have never bought a loaf in my life. I, I'm trying to think. I think I've had, I've had, yeah, I've had a loaf from one other vendor. I don't like big sizes like this. I just don't. But these are super, so cute. Like these little tins. And so it's Ocean Breeze, Salty Sea Air, and Marshmallow. And you guys can probably figure out why I wanted to grab that one. Ah, oh, and again, her marshmallow is like one, like I have a few more favorite, mar favorite marshmallows from other vendors, but this one is pretty much up there with some of the others. Oh, that marshmallow is just so good. Mixed with the Salty Sea Air and Ocean Breeze. Now the Ocean Breeze is not overly dominant in this whatsoever. I'm really getting... I really feel like I smell like the salty sea air and marshmallow the most. Ah, oh, it's just so pretty. <laughs> I'm like back here. I feel like I've been moaning this whole video. I'm so sorry. And then, so let's just go through the lavender elements. Let's go through the samples really quick. Lavender elements. I have no idea what it is. That's herbal lavender for sure. I got... Juicy cherry. Let me just have a whiff of that real quick. Yep, cherry for sure. Just smells like a cherry Kool Aid or something. Uh, linen crisp, which I was kind of excited about this one because I was just like, uh, you guys know, you guys know my deal with laundry. Oh, yeah, and that's a nice laundry. Okay, pop out. Come on. I like popping scent shots out because I feel like you can smell them better. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, that's like a dryer sheet or like a laundry detergent. That one's pretty. That one will be so nice in the bathroom. Good bathroom scent on that one. I am like, these boxes have been sitting in my computer room for, let's see, yeah, almost three weeks now. So I'm, I've been like dying to jump into these. Okay, so I got, oh, I got another, <clears throat> excuse me, linen crisp. And then cranberry oak. I actually got two of those. So I will just smell one. Okay, so that's cranberry. Hmm, it's like a tart cranberry. I'm not getting any, oak. Oh, these are like impossible to get out of the, Ew. oh boy. <laughs> Oh my God, that just shot across the, that was funny. Oh, okay, see now, when I pop it out, see now, I totally get like the, the woody note. I'm totally getting like a manly note. So see, if I had just smelled the top, I would have been like, this just smells like a, a tart cranberry, but now I smell that oak. Mmm, that's like a good fall scent, actually. All right, so yeah, that is... That is my Sassy Girl Aroma. I went big or I went home on that order for sure. And um, yeah, I had totally had fun though. I had a blast like looking at all the scents and um, she did a very smooth restock. I did feel like even though it's ready to ship, and she, I mean, she probably got pounded with orders too as well. And I know she just moved and like, I mean, she busted out the scents like crazy. So I totally can't falter for that. But one thing I want to say, and this is not, this doesn't have to do with Sassy Girl Aroma whatsoever. But lately, I feel like some of these ready to ship orders, uh, and I talked to my friend uh, Kim, Canada Kim. She mentioned this in one of her videos, and it ma made me start thinking about it. But some of these uh, vendors that are ready to ship, I'm doing air quotes back here, are like, sometimes it can take up to two weeks like to get your order it's not like that's not what i considered ready to ship you know what i mean like the product is already made so it is ready to ship but they're just slammed with so many orders that it just it takes a while to like print everything and you know all that stuff so some people are faster than others and and that's fine like i, I don't mind you know i've got plenty of wax to go around but 
um, she just it just made me think of that when Kim was talking about it. I was like, you know what? That is so right because some people are like super speedy, you know, like you'll get your shipping notice within like a few days and some people it's like it feels like a week or two weeks go by and then, you know, you're getting your order. But yeah, that's not, I'm not saying anything about Sassy Girl Aroma. I'm just talking about in general with vendors that I've seen lately. So yeah. All right. That is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys participated in the last order, I'm curious to know how it went. I was trying to think yeah, there was no problems with the website. I was trying to think if there was or not, but I think the website went really smooth. Yeah, and there was no reason for me to make three or four orders. That was dumb on my part. Total waste of shipping money. I'll like uh, just claim that right now, but whatever. Yeah, that's it. Um, I don't know when I'll be ordering from Sassy Girl again. I feel like I've got a pretty good like starter. <laughs> Um, pack. I think there were a few blends that I was looking for that she didn't have this go around that I'll probably look for again. But yeah, I think I've got like a good range like to start with. I didn't, I tried to look at her other areas. She's got some really pretty shapes and um, like smaller quantities. Uh, but I just didn't really feel like fiddling around in there because I wanted to just get my bags that like I really wanted and like get out kind of thing. But um, she's got some really pretty shapes and that kind of stuff. So yeah. All right. Enough talking. I'm done. I'm out. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know if you have ordered from Sassy Girl Aroma and what some of your favorite scents are. Uh, a few of you, I probably know what your favorite scents are. But if you have a favorite scent, I'd love to know. Okay. Talk to you later. Oh, and Devin. Also, Devin, I don't know if she's watching this or still hanging in there because <laughs> I've been yapping my mouth, but Devin got me also. She hooked me up with some, like a D stash. I have to go get the dog. The dog's out there barking. Perfect. Devin totally like helped feed this addiction along with candy. And so, yeah, so I have to, those ladies to thank for that. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will talk to you later. I almost said I love you. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm losing it, you guys, slowly but surely. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.